Pei decided to do a quick science video, a concept I'll explain in a possibly similar nature video to come. This one is however about a type of back pain, the type most possibly gained from sitting. But you can find that this uh, cure part of the video isn't only limited to that, so stay tuned. Assuming you are an average human, your spine consists of 33 vertebrae which are categorized into cervical, thoracic, lumbar spine and then also sacrum and coccyx. Uh, I think it's pronounced that way anyways. Between each vertebrae there's a spongy disc that serves as a shock absorber and a cushion. The spine encloses and protects your spinal cord, also protected by a fluid filled protective membrane, the dura, which covers the contents of the spinal canal. Vertebrae and discs are held together by ligaments and tendons attach muscles to the spine. This is basically all this type of knowledge we will need for this post, but if you're interested, check out the sources or the web pages aforementioned or this web page, which is very descriptive. Causes for back pains are many, but to each their own. Slouching or hunching or paused posture, which can cause ruptured discs or disc breakdowns, are well known, but other causes include spasms, tense muscles, scoliosis, arthritis, pregnancy, weightlifting, many possible infections, or categorized the most common mechanical problems, then injuries, conditions and diseases, and infections and tumors. I'm coming back to two of these causes to further explain what's going on and why those reasons make your back ache. Firstly, pregnancy. The weight gain and the increased stress on your lower back which puts pressure on the blood vessels and nerves. In time, the pregnant person's posture changes due to change in the center of body's gravity which is due to extra mass in the womb. Hormonal changes which relax ligaments and joints in the pelvic area can also loosen spine's ligaments which can lead to instability and pain. And stress, a very important thing I spoke about in an earlier video post, can cause muscle tension in the back which may be felt as back pain or spasms. Back pains can increase due to stress and especially at a time of pregnancy. The other thing is about poor posture, for example about sitting. When you sit and you slouch, your lower back must prop up the weight of the top half of your body and the position we sit in makes it harder for the back to do its job. Also when you slouch in prolonged periods of time and when you lift weights, different types of weights are applied to your spinal discs in unbalanced ways. For example, lifting 50 kilos while slouching may cause a 600 kilo pressure to some of your discs inner edges and this may cause disc herniation which can apply pressure to spinal nerves often referred to as pinched nerve and thus cause pain. As a side note, with a partner you can test for example whether or not you have a herniated disc located at the fifth lumbar spinal nerve which is the most common location for the disc herniation. During pregnancy squat, don't bend over. Also it's not a great idea to sleep on your back during pregnancy's late stages. When you lie on your back the weight of the uterus presses on the major veins that returns blood from your lower body to your heart. Lying on your back for extended periods of time could also make you feel because of that dizzy. It could also interfere with the flow of your blood and nutrients to the developing placenta. You could use heat or cold for pain relief. Heat usually blocks brain receptors, cold numbs painful area and reduces swelling and both relax muscles, which reduce muscle spasms, help with blood flow, suit stiffness and so on. Using alcohol is also possible, but don't take this as a suggestion, because withdrawal from alcohol will generally make us more sensitive to pain and thus more affected by it. Then there's meditation with which you can learn to focus and in time better ignore distractions like mild pain. Sexual activity, also self-pleasing, also works because an orgasm releases a huge amount of endorphins, and endorphins are chemicals similar to morphine. You get the same effect with correctly done massage and acupuncture. Due to a problem, I will narrate a few lines. Get a good posture, which is stand and sit straight, requiring more effort or muscle usage, or lean back if your chair's back and lean backwards. Lumbar support for your chair or bed will help you. Over time your back's ligaments that had lengthened due to slouching will shorten again, if you used to be a sloucher and eventually, after possibly long time, sitting straight might feel effortless. Get your calcium for bones, drink less coffee, alcohol, and smoke less cigarettes, because they're linked to osteoporosis, which is the brittle and fragile bone condition. And the mentioned drinks are diuretics that suck calcium from the bones, but don't let this stop you from drinking coffee every once in a while, because even air kills us. Do yoga or exercise your back, and if you do heavy lifting, then keep your back straight. Bend your legs. That is basically all there is to it, there are pages that go more into depth about what you could change about yourself to start getting your back better. Good posture, good posture, good posture, and if you haven't corrected your posture by now, I hope you will do so later. And as always, stay awesome, and thanks for watching.